I'll be showing you step by step how to completely customize your Shopify refresh theme. We'll be going over how to set up your homepage, your navigation, your footer pages, and how to properly use Shopify's theme editor. So make sure you stay until the end of the video here as you'll have a complete understanding at the end of it. So let's navigate to our Shopify dashboard and let's go into the refresh theme. So on the left hand side, I'm going to go to online store here and it's going to open up the themes section automatically. We can see I'm currently having Having the refresh theme installed as my current theme so it's gonna be published to my store and let's go into the customization section and this is the customize button here if you don't have this theme installed already you can scroll down and then click on the visit theme store if you don't see it here already under popular free themes so let's go into customize and let's go over the Shopify theme editor so you can have a understanding of where everything is first so it's gonna be split up into several sections on the left hand side we have our overall top menu sections so we have our sections which are going to relate to each page or template that we're on we have our theme settings and this is going to govern the overall appearance of core elements of our theme so here we can change our logo set the color schemes for different elements we can change the typography the way we want to change the font style we can do that there we can have different animations change different button settings such as the thickness opacity and different sizes we can also add our brand information and govern overall settings such as the card type or the currency format next we head into app embeds this is the section that's going to show which apps are enabled on your actual online store i wouldn't worry about this section too much at the beginning and for each app you install it's going to ask you to enable this for the app to work correctly. And so they'll deal with that during the installation sequence. So next let's head back to sections and we get a sub menu here showing all the different elements on our page from our header to our template, to our footer in the middle here, we have our overall preview. And this is what our store is going to actually look like live. And on the right hand side, this is a sub menu. So if we were to go and click on a specific element, such as the slideshow, it's going to open up more detailed customizations we can make in the top here we have a region selector it should be just your default unless you've set up other ones i wouldn't worry about this next we have our overall templates so we can see our products collections pages and so on we can actually just get to any of these templates as well by clicking on an element so if i click on this product here it's going to open up my default product template and this is going to apply to every product I have. So if I make any changes here, it's going to update to all the products that have the default product template. If you haven't customized that specifically, that should be all your products. Next in the top right hand side, we can change whether it's a mobile or a desktop preview. This is just going to let us know what it looks like on different devices. In the top right, we have an undo again and a overall save button. So to finalize any of the changes we make here, we want to save them and this is going to update our live store automatically. Out here to our homepage, let's go and edit a few things on it to give you an idea of how the theme customization process works. So we can see here, we're now currently on the homepage template. And if we minimize this, we can see our slideshow and our featured collection, which are added by default we want to go and add a new section we can click add section and we can see our pre-built blocks there's a collection list rich text multi-row email signups these are really great here because it's going to speed up the creation of our home page and it's just going to depend what you're looking to add in let's say i want to add a featured collection i'm going to show up here and to make any changes i just want to click on featured collection and the menu on the right hand side is going to open up with different details so i can go and select a collection maybe i want it to be all my products i can click select in the bottom right to finalize that i can add different settings such as the heading maybe i want to say view all products for the description i could say our best sellers you can change things such as the style the maximum number of products to show maybe i want 24 products to show i don't have that in my store so it's now going to display i can change the number of columns and overall there are quite a few different details that give you a lot of customization on the exact appearance so now that i've added this duplicate feature collection let's say i want to remove this one i can just hover over the trash icon and it's going to remove the one I had above it. So let's go and customize the slideshow here. I'm going to click on the slideshow. This is going to open up the overall settings for the slideshow. Instead of a full width, maybe I want it to be a grid. Quite a few different ones here, such as the animation, how the mobile looks. You can auto rotate slides if needed. Then we can go and edit our specific slides. 
So you just want to click underneath here. It should open up in a sub menu and we can go and add our first image. So on the right hand side, I'm going to go and select explore free images that are included with your Shopify plan. I'm going to select this one here, hit select. Then maybe I'll change the heading to shop the best camping products. You can change the heading size. You could add a subheading if needed, such as all items are on sale. I can change the button link. Maybe I want to use an outline button instead. I can also add a secondary slide and then go and select a different image here, such as this bridge, hit select in the bottom right. I could do more customizations to make this text fit my store. So let's move on to the header and the footer as not to spend too much time on each little bit here is it's really going to depend on your own theme and how you want it to look for your customers. I'm gonna hit save in the top right to finalize these changes. And let's go to our header section here. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to find out how much money you've actually made. You have all your different costs, goods sold, your ad spend, your transaction fees. It can be a lot to keep track of. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It has a seamless integration with Shopify, and it's going to sync with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many cost of goods sold providers. When you get one-click calculations, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time metrics. You get a ton of different breakdowns here so you can truly understand your store's performance and this is going to let you make smarter business decisions. There's a link in the description below where you can get a 15 day free trial where you can test drive everything for yourself. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left here. So make sure you check it out and it's going to simplify the entire profit and accounting experience. We can add different blocks. There's not really a need to here as it's just going to be our logo and our navigation. So clicking on this, I can see for the menu, I've already created a main menu here, but you can easily change this to whatever menu you have set up. I'm gonna select a main menu and hit select to finalize that. And if you don't have any navigation set up, I'll show you quickly how to do that. So I'm gonna click exit in the top left, go to navigation under online store, and here you can add different menus. So I've simply named them main menu and I've named a footer menu as well. But if I click into the main menu, you can easily add different menu items that lead to different pages on your store. You can also remove them, edit them, or you can drag them around as different sub menus as well. Make it easier for your customers to navigate around your store. We have a full video on how to set up your navigation as well. So if you want to learn more, make sure you check out the video on the channel. So let's go back to our themes and I'm going to go to customization so we can go and finish this tutorial here. So above our header, we have our announcement bar. So here you can do things such as total sales for your store or anything along those lines where you want to send a message to the customer. It's gonna load at the top here and it's set to load on every page. So no matter where the customer is, they can see this message. A lot of stores use this to announce things such as sales. Maybe they have different coupons or maybe they just have free shipping and they wanna put that on the top. It's gonna depend on your store, but it's nice to have here and it's really easy to customize. And you can change the color if you want as well. So let's scroll down to our footer on the bottom. Now let's go to the left-hand side. We can see there's both an email signup added by default. So we're gonna leave that. And for the footer, we can add different blocks to it. So let's click add block. We're gonna add a menu and I'm also gonna add our brand information. Now for the quick links, I've already added them here. So if I click on the element, this is gonna to link to our footer menu. You can also change it to whatever menu you want. Next for the brand information, we notice here that it is blank. To have this filled out, we have to go and edit the overall theme brand information. And so if we click on this element, we can see it in the top right here and there's a direct link that's gonna open up the theme settings and it's gonna open up the brand information sub menu by default. So you can do things such as add a heading, I'm just gonna put camping store and then description, I'm just gonna copy and paste that there. And so this is going to fill out the footer menu here and you can add and remove different elements depending what you want to show your customers. So let's go over the product template now. So to get there, I can just click on a specific product. We can see the top here, default product has now been opened. And so this process is gonna work very similarly to the homepage in terms of customization. It can open up the sections, then I can minimize these sections here. I can add new ones such as a featured collection. I can go and customize the featured collection by clicking on it, then changing the collection here on the right-hand side to bundles as an example. I can go and edit the product information, I can drag any of these around. So let's say I don't like the order or I don't want the description there. I can simply remove it. I can also drag it to the top here. 
Maybe I want it above everything else. So overall, again, clicking on it, it's gonna give you more settings on the right hand side if available. And you can move everything around and you can add different blocks or remove them if needed. What we should always do for your product pages as well is look at it on a different device. We can do so in the preview, but I encourage you to open up your phone and load your website so you can see how everything looks. So next, let's go and add our logo. I'm gonna to go to home here, just as I wanna see it on the home page. I'm gonna to go to theme settings, and then I can see logo in the top left. I'm gonna click select image as I already have a logo uploaded for this store. I'm going to select my image here and I can change the width on desktop. Maybe I want it to be 60 pixels. I can also select my favicon. This is gonna be the little icon that shows up on your browser tab. And it's very useful for people navigating through multiple tabs as it's gonna have your logo. So I've updated both of those there. One last thing, let's go and customize the cart page. So I'm gonna click on the cart icon on the top right and can see it's currently a drawer. But let's say we don't want it to be a drawer, we want it to be a separate page. We can do so by going to theme settings, minimizing this logo, and then scrolling down. We can see cart here. I can see there is the cart type, so we can set it to a page or a pop-up notification too. I'm gonna select page on the cart icon now, and we can see now we're brought to a completely separate page instead of opening up a drawer. Many of these are just personal preference, and depending on how you want your store to operate. So I'm gonna click save to finalize those changes here. And this is gonna conclude the video here on the Shopify refresh theme customization. We went over the overall theme layout, as well as going into how to add different sections, how to edit those sections, and how to edit things such as your navigation and your cart page. Overall, I recommend having a plan on how you want your store to look. Maybe find an example Shopify store you really like, and then try to copy those elements to your store. The theme editor is very easy to use once you get the hang of it, and I think it has a good overall layout. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe below. I'm coming up with new Shopify videos all the time, and you don't want to miss out. But thank Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.